Since biblical times, people who are leprosy affected have been shunned and kept away from general populations. We don't see it much here, but this stigma very much persists in some countries, particularly in India. Well, one group, Rising Star, is out to change that, and Doug Jardine traveled to India for the story. I report today from a country, frankly, I never thought I would visit, India, and on a topic I never thought I would address, leprosy. There are about a million who are leprosy affected here in the country of India, but because of Rising Star Outreach, they have something they never thought they would have, economically, educationally, and health-wise. It is a mass of humanity. Only China has more people. Almost 1.2 billion people call India home. One of the world's fastest growing economies with the overwhelming challenges of high illiteracy rates, poverty, and malnutrition. The first time I came to India, when we, I'd come actually to check out a little orphanage that was here. The reason Becky Douglas came to India to see those orphans was to find answers to a heartbreaking chapter in her life. Her 25-year-old daughter Amber had been sending part of her monthly college education money to the orphanage. Becky didn't know that until Amber's untimely death in 2000. Becky came to India to see what had so captured her daughter's caring and small financial interest. She found the orphans to be in good hands, but saw others with almost no hands at all. Every time the car came to a stop, the leprosy affected beggars would crawl up to the car or walk up to the car and beg. And it was an incredible experience for me because I had never seen such suffering. And I said to my driver, are these people? And he said, um, they're the leprosy. They're the lepers. They're the, the beggars. And I just said, leprosy? Are you kidding? There's leprosy in the world? I was stunned. So stunned and shocked and surprised by what she saw, Becky Douglas from Atlanta, Georgia, and still suffering from a daughter's death, decided she would be the one who would step up and begin to make a difference a half world away. When we came over here, we started first by just um, doing humanitarian stuff, giving out rice, giving out beans, giving out saris. We would literally take our pocket knives and dig out the rotten flesh of the leprosy affected. We're not doctors, but we, I mean, we did it in the dirt with no anesthesia, but it, we were just trying to help in any way that we could. And I've been able to watch Rising Star grow into this, this thing that it's become today, which you know, I mean, touches literally hundreds and hundreds of people. Rising Star has grown indeed. Four years after a startup to assist those who are leprosy affected, the group bought land about an hour from the southeast coastal city of Chennai. They now have two dormitories for more than 100 students, a new school for the children, a mobile health clinic which visits leprosy affected colonies, and hundreds of volunteers who've come to help. Does she, does she like the goat shed? Yeah. She likes the goat shed? <laughs> this group is full of members of the Marriott family. That's right, the Hotel Marriott's. They all came to volunteer for one week. Looking for a chance to help, they ended up with memories for a lifetime. Building a goat shed for this leprosy colony and taking part in activities and projects they most likely would have never dreamed of. I looked over at one point during the hygiene clinic and cute little Monica was all by herself and she just was cutting the bandage off and just doing it all by herself. She's 11 years old, just standing there, sitting at this guy's feet, trying to serve him. My favorite part also there was we painted the ladies' um, fingernails, um, like, yeah, so we painted them all like bright red and it was really fun because they felt all pretty and they were like going like that. We are so honored that you would let us come into your village. And be a part of this big work project. This is a big, meaningful experience to us. Because we learned from you while we were working. We have never built a goat shed before. <laughs> Some of us have never seen a goat. <laughs> so you teach us about goats. You teach us. 
So now we'll take those building skills back to our country. <laughs> but more important, we will take back with us how we learned how to work together with our families, how we learned how to take pride in our work. And how we learn how to be big family together, you and us a big family. As they've as they've seen that expression of love and care from us, it really lights their face up. They've really uh, enjoyed the interaction and um, it brings them some self-worth. And uh, you know, we're all created equal on this earth and um, these people are, are just as good as you and me and, and so to take the opportunity to just help out in small ways has, has really been a blessing um, in my life and, and hopefully a blessing in theirs as well. Can you read this line, this sentence? Hi, have. But as the Marriott's leave, a new group of young volunteers arrive, eager and anxious to teach and work with children at this very special school. You will see more from this school a little bit later. You will also meet the Indian equivalent to Becky Douglas, Badma Venkataraman, the daughter of India's former president, who gave up a life of luxury to help the leprosy affected. But first... When Profiles in Caring continues, we travel with the Rising Star Outreach Mobile Clinic inside a leprosy-affected colony. Stay with us. <laughs> 